Hey y'all, so good morning. Hey, um, I have had a very busy but productive week and it just feels so good to be able to knock things off of my list. And I actually have two videos that are already in queue for next week. So I am like ahead of the game and I am very, very happy about that. Um, and I'm gonna be even more ahead of the game when I start filming my, which I've already started filming some of those, um, my Halloween decor videos. I've already started that and I'm very, very excited about that because those ones, like I said in previous vlogs, those ones will probably the start the week of the 18th of September. So make sure that you guys are subscribed and receive notification bells. And this part of my hair is really bothering me. Um, and make sure that you guys uh, receive my notifications or a notification when I upload a video because um, depending on like obviously I know I'm going to be in Ireland when the Halloween vlogs and stuff go up or Halloween decorating vlogs go up um, and the timing is going to be so off I won't be able to go on there and try to remind maybe I don't know I, I don't know the whole like timing thing I don't know if that's gonna be an issue or not but anyway so hey so today I am headed over to my doctor's appointment to get the results of the blood work that I had done this past week and then I'm gonna run to Buff City Soap I'm gonna run into Target and then I'm going to come home I think and um, that's gonna be about it for the day well besides the Halloween decor stuff. So, but I wanted to show you guys really, really quick what I was wearing. So today I'm just kind of, it's still so hot outside, but I have my cute little like tennis shoes on that I got at Meyer back when we were in Illinois. My favorite white shorts. These are from Lane Bryant, like several, several years ago. They don't even make them anymore. Um, but these are my favorites. And then um, this little black shirt that I got from Amazon with the cute little like sleeves. Yeah, I just love this. Such a just a simple little outfit and just something very casual and comfortable for the day. But yeah, we are gonna head on out and I'm gonna head to the doctor's office and I thought that I would just take you guys along with since we like to hang out with each other. So let's go. All right, so I'm in my room and uh, my blood pressure was 134 over 80. So that was perfect. So yeah, like I said, I don't know, like sometimes it just kind of gets a little high, but not very often at all, but I thought that was pretty good. So and I'm just going to sit here and wait for him. So while I wait for the doctor, I'm actually watching Kyle. Um, he's actually at Disneyland right now, and it just makes me super excited because I can't wait to go back next year. Um, hoping to add that into the mix as well next year maybe in March if not we're gonna go in October for sure I definitely know that but <laughs> but yeah okay I'm gonna get back to Kyle now alrighty so I am done with the doctor he's so nice and he's he's just so nice um, and this is actually the first doctor that's actually ever taken the time to actually like do a full hormone panel on me to see like where my levels are at. And basically he's like, yeah, you are like, you have like zero hormone, hormones, <laughs> like none, zero. Um, he's like, you're, I, so today I actually get to start on hormones. I get to start on estrogen and progesterone. So y'all let me know what you guys think of all that. If you guys are taking it, if you guys have ever taken it, let me know what you guys think. Um, he also recommended, um, that I also take testosterone. Um, look, I said, I asked him, is it okay if I like not to take the testosterone? Cause I'm like, I'm not looking to enhance my sex, my sex, my, I'm not, an, what was I doing? What did I say? I am not looking to change my sex. Like I don't want to be manly. I don't want to start growing hair on my face. I don't want any of that crap. So I don't really think that I need to take testosterone at this time. Let's see what the estrogen and the progesterone does first before I take testosterone. I just, again, I'm just not, ugh, what do you guys think? Let me know. Let me know in the comments below if you guys have ever taken testosterone, what were your guys' outcomes? Did you guys have any side effects from it? Like growing hair, 
you guys starting to get muscular? Did you guys start talking deeper? Because I'm like, look, I'm not, uh uh. I'm not one of those, I'm not doing all that stuff. So I'm just, I, give me the estrogen, the progesterone, and let's just go from there. Um, and he literally, he said too that um, it will help. It helps with so much stuff. So like my my bones hurting, my achy joints hurting, um, my heart palpitations, all that good stuff. Um, so I'm hoping, so I get to start it actually today. So estrogen, I get to take every day in the morning and then I'll take the progesterone um, every night before I go to bed. So I'm like really excited about that because I'm hoping I'm hoping that it feels good. I mean, the testosterone also was supposed to be like, you're gonna feel great. Um, I I feel I feel good. I don't feel great all the time. Like, but that's just again, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, you guys leave me comments below. Let me know what you guys think of the whole estrogen, progesterone, testosterone thing. And let me know if you guys, if it worked for you, if that was like the best thing for you guys. Leave me some feedback on the whole testosterone thing. Am I looking into it too much? Is it gonna be okay if I take some? But I go back in three months because he wants to check me in three months to see how my body's reacting to all this stuff. So I have to go up blood work done and all that good stuff. And then maybe by then, if I feel like testosterone would benefit me then I don't know but like I said leave me some comments I'm headed to Buff City and then I'm gonna go to Target and then I'm gonna go home so I just left Buff City Soap and finally, finally the girl in there like recognizes me and knows that I am a uh, Buff City ambassador. And um, so I was able to get my stuff today for like 50% off which I was like super, super excited about. And then I got my free soaps as well. So fantastic. Like all my stuff came up to like $49. I'm like, yes. Perfect. So now I'm headed to Target and like my main thing to Target is I kind of want to look for the baby detangler. Let's see if they actually have it. Oh, I didn't tell you guys that, that fiasco. I just posted it on Instagram. So I am down to my very last Johnson's baby detangler. And that's a detangler that I have used on my hair for Ever. and so I went to and I know I can't find it anywhere so I went to look on Amazon for it and they want $26 for one bottle of that stuff and I'm like no what what is happening again with all of this stuff um, I was actually actually I was actually able to purchase like four of those as a bulk I don't know a couple months back and it was like $20 for that um, I have to actually go back and look to see it may have been like 24 but nonetheless it's a it's a bulk of them and so just for one it is 26 I'm like uh, no that's not gonna happen so my my main goal in here is to find the baby detangler let's see if we can find it and then um, I also want to get spider webs so I'm trying to look for spider webs as well well like the little decorative spider webs so that is what I'm gonna try to find too while I'm here and of course of course I'm gonna get myself a little Starbies while I'm here as well so um yeah and then on my way home I'm gonna swing by Walgreens and I'm gonna pick up my meds and hopefully they have it that way I can start that because he's like you can start that stuff today I'm like okay I will so <laughs> all right let's go in to Target all right, so I found some, and look, four seventy nine here at Target. So I'm gonna get like four of these because <laughs> I use them. Okay, I'm actually only gonna get three because there's one left, so I don't want to be a hoarder. Ooh, they have cute Halloween stuff here at Target. So they have a few stuff out, a few things they're getting out. Those are really cute are cute those are super cute these are cute they're hard I thought they were more squishy or soft they're not they're a little harder all right they found spider web stuff I'm gonna grab two of these Left Target and now I am at 
Rosie's. Um, we're just gonna pick up our lunch and our dinner because <laughs> usually this lasts us until dinner um, and we just kind of eat whatever we have left over. Um, I also just checked the Walgreens app to see if like my medication was ready so I could just like swing by there and pick that up and it says that it's not gonna be ready until September 5th which is Tuesday so I guess I won't be starting it today bummer oh well I did get um, a couple of things at um, Target <laughs> I'll show you guys later on and I actually got a new Stanley cup don't judge me just save your judgment for another day because I do not need it. <laughs> I love my Stanley Cups. I love a cup. I love a good cup. And those ones are so great. I use my other one like every single day. I actually have it with me now. Oh, I'm, my turn. Alrighty, so I am back from Target and Brian and I sat down and we had a wonderful lunch together and I talked to him about what the doctor said. So yay and um, i wish i could pick those up today but i can't but anyway nonetheless i'll pick them up on tuesday when they are ready all right so i wanted to show you guys a few of the things that i picked up at target so this is a uh, lazy susan that i'm going to put in the pantry and when you guys go to see my pantry um like organizational video which is going to come up next week um you'll see that i was going to find a new lazy susan and i did so i'm gonna add that to the pantry i picked up two little bags of this um spider web stuff because i want to use that this is the stuff that i got from uh Beth, um, buff city i'll show you that in a, a little bit um i picked up two wreaths that i'm gonna go put on the front door in just a few minutes um you guys will also see that in one of my halloween videos i talk about napkins and i actually found these and i'm gonna use these napkins in the dining room i did get these three pumpkins while i was there they are super super cute they are glass they are um hollow on the bottom on all three of them so i'm thinking maybe if you put like a tea light in there it might work i picked up three of the johnson's detangler and a another stanley so there's my target haul all right and so this is the stuff that i got from buff city soap i picked up three of the commando laundry scent boosters love these things um, and i picked up two more of the commando buff city laundry soap and then um, I picked up these Commando um, uh, bath soaps, or not bath soaps, um, soaps. Um, we just put these in little scrubby, and we'll, we use these in the shower too. They're really, really great. Oh, I meant to get some of that um, melting stuff. Oh, well, next time. And then these were the three free ones that I got, which is Slice of Fall Fall Equinox and Pumpkin Spice. And these are the three new ones for, for fall. And I got these ones for free because I am a Buff City ambassador. And now I'm going to go take those to the laundry room in just a second. But I wanted to show you guys um, two cute little like sweater cardigans that I also picked up at Target. So um, I'm going to sit you guys up here. And ooh, you know, it'd be kind of fun. Hmm. Let me try something new. Mm, yeah, so like I have you guys attached to the top of my mirror. I don't think that's going to work very well. It's probably going to fall. Uh, okay, let me just get these. Okay, like the first one is like this really cute ivory, like I want to call it like a shacket, I guess you want to call it. Well, no, it's a jacket. But um, it's super, super soft and super, super cozy. And um, I love the big buttons on it super cute it's got like pockets it covers up really really nicely so I thought this would be kind of fun to wear even with like leggings um even with this it looks super cute um like I, I love it I love the big pockets on it too um this is just a really cute you can leave it like open or button it up super cute perfect for fall perfect for like that nice cozy cool day yeah I really do like this and then the other one that I got is super cute as well Okay, and then the other one that I got besides, I know this is such a bad angle, I won't do that again. Um, but this one, besides the color, which just screams fall, I love the sleeves on it. Love that like little line and then how long this is right here, the length of that, super cute. And But what I really liked about it is that you can actually wear it like dress up or dress down really kind of sort of because it actually has these two little like ties where you can like tie it over 
so it's just adorable it's got nice pockets again super super cute really soft and um yeah i just i love it it's great i think these are going to be two little jacket thingies that i bring to ireland because these will be perfect for like a pair of jeans a pair of leggings my cargo pants so anything that I decide to wear, and it'll be perfect for like the weather that we're gonna have while we're there. Cause I don't wanna have anything too heavy. This would be even perfect for the flight there because it's not too heavy and you can take it off if you need to. So yeah, super cute. What do you guys think? I like it. I like it, I like it a lot. Alrighty, so I wanted to share this with you guys. This is that new like jogger set that I just got in the mail from Amazon and I wanted to try it out and share it with you guys. Okay, so I love, I love the whole thing. It's very, very soft, uh, very comfortable. I have this elastic part rolled down a little bit because I feel like if I wear these right on my hips, like where they belong, they're really loose and like long in the crotch and I'm not a fan of that. Um, and I'm just afraid they're gonna be too like loose looking even like in the butt area like like i'll have like a lots of there we go so i have like lots of room there in the booty um i ordered them in like i think the extra large because i'll have to look because i wanted the shirt to be big i just didn't want the pants to be big so that's like the problem that you kind of run into when you want like a bigger shirt but it is cute it is comfortable and i think with like cute shoes like Converse tennis shoes or even like black ones, white ones with black or something, they would look really, really cute. But I'm just not sure how I feel about, cause it just feels weird even like in the crotch area. Like when you walk, it just feels weird. It's like I got a huge load in my pants. <laughs> um, so, so I'm not exactly sure if I, maybe if I wash them, they might shrink a little bit, these, but I definitely would not dry this. But um, this is definitely very cute and comfortable. It's perfect for flying. Very comfortable for flying, I believe. And um, yeah, so I think I'll just wash these and see if they shrink. Alrighty guys, so I'm just gonna like end the vlog here. I will pick it up tomorrow. Um, tomorrow I have a hair appointment and then afterwards I want to go over to the Halloween Spirit Store because it is, I think, I think it's open now in the mall. Um, so that's where we're gonna head tomorrow after my hair appointment. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a great Friday evening. Bye. Hey y'all. So today is Saturday and I am gonna go get my hair done. And I, um, my guy Jonathan left Gray Salon and he's over at a whole other salon now. So it should be interesting to hear why he left the other salon and just kind of check out this new salon. Um, but after I'm done with my hair, I am going to go over to the mall, which is like right behind there, which is crazy. And then um, I am gonna go to the Halloween store if it is open. So I'm hoping that it's open now. Uh, and then I have to go stop and bring Brian a sandwich uh, because he is racing today. So I'm gonna stop off and pick him up some lunch and take it over there to him. And then I'm gonna come back here and get the um, chicken wings ready and prepped for tonight because tonight is the big game. And then I'm also gonna do my stuffed peppers. So um, yeah if my ground beef is thawed out. I had it in the refrigerator overnight and I just checked it, it's still a little hard. So um, hopefully when I get back, it'll be even more thawed out and I can just go ahead and get that stuff done. Um, but yeah, wings, stuffed peppers, chips, salsa. We had Rosie's yesterday for lunch, so we have a little bit of leftovers because we didn't eat it last night for dinner. So we're just gonna have a little combination of a lot of things. And yeah, this should be a great day. It's Alabama game day, woo woo, roll tide. So I was trying to find an Alabama shirt and I couldn't find one in my closet. I know I have some, I don't know where it's at. So um, anyway, let's go get my hair done. Let's go, to, let's go to the mall, go to the Halloween store, get Brian's sandwich and we're gonna come back here and make some wings for the, for the football game. Super, super excited. All right, let's head on out. 
Alrighty, so I am here. I have just a few minutes before I can go in. Um, I again, I've never. I think I've been down this road like once, and that was when I first lived here. I don't. I have not been down this road since I moved here recently, or last three years. Um, but the mall is like literally the next parking lot over. <laughs> you could like walk over there. Um, I also remembered today, um, we are, my sister and I are four weeks out from our Disney trip and I'm pretty sure it's four weeks. Let's go one, two, three, four. Yep. Four weeks until we leave for our Disney trip and we are so excited. I can't wait. I'm excited. She's excited. She's like really, really excited. And, um, that's like so cool because I want her to be excited. She's like, I'm ready to go now, like I know. And then it's gonna be here, and then it's gonna be over with, and then it's gonna stink, because again, I don't know, I might have her come back with me in January again, if she can actually get the time off. I don't know if um, her, I don't know if her work time, like, you know, accumulated PTO starts January 1 or if it starts July. I'm not exactly sure. I don't know how that works, but I don't know. Maybe she'll come with me in January too. If she does, she's going to be like, woo, super excited. Um, another thing I wanted to share with you guys too, um, I took my, my Amavig shot last night. So that was my second dose and I always take it in my right leg. Well, I should have taken it in my left leg this time, but I did it in my right leg again, only because it's just like what's easy, what's <laughs> convenient, and what's like right there. Because uh, I'm like right-handed. I mean, I guess I could do it over to the left leg. I think I will do my left leg on October 1st. Um, so yeah, last night was my second dose. I take it um, on the first of every month, and I've shared that with you guys, the first of every month and I, at nighttime right before I go to bed. Um, but I haven't had any like side effects, which I am super, super, thankful for i haven't had any crazy side effects now i could tell like in the middle of the month that i started kind of feeling like my head started hurting a little bit like two weeks ago when i had that really bad like headache type of thing and um i don't know if i told you guys it or not but anyway my head was oh it was dizziness and then my head was hurting and all that so i was like Ugh. <laughs> i don't like that um but i think it's because like that was the middle of the month maybe my medicine was wearing off it does surprise it does like amaze me that the aim of big lasts for an entire month you know um i only have three it says three refills three refills um available and this would have been my second one so yeah i'm not exactly sure um what that means but it says my next auto refill is 9 26 23 which works out perfectly because i just leave them in my fridge until the first and then i take it um however ooh, 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 ooh however i'm going to be well then i guess i'll have to take it on the 29th um because i won't be home on the first no so that stinks and I could probably take it with me, uh, but it would have to stay cold. So I'd actually have to like keep it in freezer packs or something. It can't keep it frozen, it just has to stay cold because you have to keep it in the refrigerator. Mm. More than likely, I'll just take it before I leave, which will be the 29th, I mean, the night before I leave. I'm also using my new Stanley. Uh, this is the one I got yesterday when I was at Target. And I put it in the dishwasher last night and took it out this morning. And I'm using it today. I was going to go get a coffee like at Starbucks. But I didn't have to go to the bathroom while he was doing my hair. So, uh, yeah. And I think like the other one too. So, the one that I get for... October 1 I'll have to take on the 29th and the one that I get uh for November 1 I'll have to take uh, again I'll have to take that one early too because we're going to be gone <sighs> the end of November we are going oh, excuse me the end of October we are going to be gone for a, about two weeks um yeah we have a lot of stuff going on we have a baby shower we're attending in Jacksonville and then we have our business trip in October and um, 
we're just we're not extending it well we are starting it early because we have to go we're going to go to the baby shower with our for our family member and then um let's see yeah we're going to be gone gone yeah we have a busy end of october into november so from from october 27th all the way through uh november 8th we are going to be gone that is just craziness so whew, lots of stuff going on lots of stuff going on but um yeah i'm getting ready to go in and get my hair done and i will check back in with you guys after my my hair appointment see you guys later bye dang it i should have worn jeans it's like drizzly and kind of chilly outside and i have shorts on and i was gonna wear jeans and i had jeans on then i'm like now nah, probably get too hot I can never make up my mind. All right, let's go to the hair. Hair done. All righty, so my hair is all done. Fabulous. Now I'm headed over to the mall. I think, I don't know, it's kind of, I'm getting like hungry to the point of where I'm getting like sick. So I'm like thinking, no, I'm gonna go into, yeah, I think I'm gonna skip it, we'll see. All righty, so I did not go, <coughs> excuse me, goodness. Let's start over. I did not go to the Halloween store. Um, I hadn't had any breakfast or anything um, to eat this morning, so my stomach was just really upset and I was starting to feel very like yucky and tired. Um, so I needed to grab some lunch. So I came home and ate, and now I'm actually going to um, change my clothes and get into something a little bit more comfortable. I'm going to actually start preparing the wings for tonight and the pepper, the stuffed peppers um, as well. So that is what we're going to do. And I think um, it's going to actually be like cool enough to where we can actually sit outside this evening and watch the football game. <clears throat> that is going to be so amazing. So <clears throat> good grief. I'm actually going to switch into something a little bit more comfortable and I will check back in with you guys in two seconds. Alrighty, and just like that, I am ready for game day. I just have some comfortable leggings on, my little um, yoga socks that I don't do yoga in, um, <laughs> um, and then my Alabama shirt. So, did I already get something on it? No. Okay, so, yeah, yay! So, here we go. I think I'm gonna take off my makeup as well and just have like a nice fresh face. I don't know, I might do it in a little while. But right now I'm gonna focus on getting the wings done and I just need to get those prepped and like sitting in the sauce so I can cook those later on. And then, um, <clears throat> yeah, we're gonna work on the peppers. So yeah, let's get started with that. It is football day, woo woo! Right now Virginia and Tennessee are playing so I'm gonna have that on while I prepare these wings and stuff. So I'm just excited about football. I love watching football. I love football games. I love everything about it. And that sun is coming out, which is gonna warm it up outside. Not having any of that. Stay cold, stay cold outside. most delicious type of sauce you could think of. I use um, Sweet Baby Ray's. I put in some Worcestershire sauce and I put in some brown sugar and I just kind of let that coat all over them and then obviously some pepper in there. And then when those are, they're nice and like gooey and yummy. And then we'll either put them on the grill, probably the grill, because they're a lot better on the grill. They get nice and crispy or I'll put them in the air fryer. Not exactly sure what I'm gonna do just yet. Just depending on what time Brian comes home will depend on 
um, grill or air fryer. Now, in the meantime, so I set my ground beef out last night and it's not exactly thawed out all the way. So I'm just gonna kind of let it sit here for a little bit longer. I might give it just another hour to kind of thaw out and anything that doesn't thaw out, I'm just gonna actually put in the, the skillet and let it cook anyway. So yeah, so I'm gonna take a little hour break and just straighten up around here. I have some dishes I need to put away. And uh, yeah. Oh, one more thing. So I was talking to my guy, Jonathan, the one that does my hair, and I asked him what type of like hair primer do you like recommend? Do you guys have something here? So he um, gave me this. Well, he didn't give it to me. I had to buy for it. I had to pay for it. It's Nero style, and it's a you know primer. So you just spray it in your hair like I did my L'Oreal stuff. I don't know how much this costs. I'm guessing around this $30. But I would rather pay $30 for this than pay $30 for a L'Oreal brand that I know I can get for $7.99. Just like that um, detangler stuff, that baby detangler was $26. I told you guys this on Amazon and I found it at Target for $4.79. So if I could get this, the L'Oreal stuff for you know $7.99 at, or $5.99, whatever it is at a store, then I will. But I won't pay $30 for it on Amazon but I will pay $30. I don't even think this was $30. It probably was. But anyway, I'm gonna give this a try and see if I like it. So it might be something new that I get. Um, it actually lasts a long time because, you know, I just spray it in my hair right before I blow dry it. So it actually lasts a long time. And it's got, it's 4.7 ounces. So I can actually put this not on my check-in, no, not on my carry-on, but I can put it in my check-in luggage. So. I can do that. So anyway, all right, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Now I'm gonna let this thaw for a little bit and straighten up around here. And I'll check back with you guys in a little bit when I start working on the stuffed peppers. So in my first like Halloween video that I'm gonna have up, you guys are going to see that I talked about getting some goblets, like black goblet glasses for my dining room table in there. And so I ordered some and they came in today. <laughs> so I thought that I would show you guys what they actually look like. I am, I only got a set of four cause I really just need a set of four cause I'm just sitting them on the dining room table. I mean, eventually I do drink out of them. I have some in here that I drink out of and I keep some in there, but I, I do switch them out, you know, um, but yeah, I'm super excited about these black ones because you just never really see black like glasses or black. These are amazing. Look how pretty they are. They're just like black goblets and there's a set of four of them. Oh my gosh. These are amazing. Absolutely love, 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 love them. Now I want like four more, <laughs> but I'm not going to. Okay, so that's awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yeah, they just got delivered. So I also went outside. I'll show you guys in just a quick second. Let me go put these in the dining room. Alrighty, so I wanted to show you guys. I just moved these two chairs that normally sit over there. I just moved them over here for like tonight because we're gonna be out here, hopefully, <laughs> watching the game. I know the TV keeps freezing up Oh, not just went away. Um, but anyway, so yeah. Oh, there we go. Um, so yeah, we're, we might be sitting out here this evening watching the game. At 6.30, it should be a little bit cooler. The sun should be going down. It starts to get dark now around 7.15ish. So, um, but yeah, I moved everything over here. And uh, yeah, we should have a nice fun night. But I just wanted to show you guys that I just moved all of that stuff. I moved the furniture so we could have a better view of the TV. So that's awesome. Woohoo! I'm so excited about game day. And I think I am not going to worry about the stuffed peppers today. I think I'm gonna work on those tomorrow um, because my meat still hasn't exactly thawed out yet. It's already like two o'clock. So I think I'm just gonna skip those for today. We're just focused on having some chips and some salsa and some wings this evening. And that should be plenty. That should be plenty. And then tomorrow I will do the uh, stuffed peppers. So 
yeah, that's what I'm gonna, that's what I'm gonna do. And then I think what I'm gonna do now is just um, end the vlog here. That way I can work on this and get it edited and up for you guys for tomorrow because I'm gonna put this one up on Sunday. Like I said, a these videos are gonna be out of sequence, especially the two that I have posted next week. Um, so I will have a video going up next Tuesday and Thursday. And then same with the following week. It's gonna be a Tuesday and Thursday for those videos. And then like I said before, several times already that the Halloween video decoration rating will start um i think on the 18th i said so yeah 18th 18th or 19th so um but anyway thank you guys so much for hanging out with me for um the past couple of days if you guys enjoyed this and if you guys enjoy vlogs like this make sure that you give this a huge thumbs up don't forget to subscribe leave me a comment below we talked about a lot of stuff in this video so uh let's chat let's talk see you guys later bye